if you're new around here, my name is Amanda. I am a homeschool mom of four. I have an 11 year old, a seven year old, a five year old, and a nine month old. Now, this introduction's a little bit different because, um, A, this is gonna be probably the last video I ever do in this van. B, there's no kids. And C, um, it's the last time I'm ever gonna film in this van. So, all right, here we are. It's a decade together right here. We just sold. And we bought this thing. <sighs> so this is super cool. We got this sampler. They threw in these desserts for free. They gave us our drinks for free, all because we had never been here before. We got turkey chicken pork and brisket how excited are you all right stopped at the gas station installing the car seats braxton's super pumped that he can lay down in the back row so really quick um just kind of want to recap what's going on here braxton and i actually traveled to indiana earlier this week and we sold our Jeep and our minivan and we had traded for a 12 passenger Chevy Express 3500. Um, and the reason that we chose this vehicle is because of its towing capacity. Um, we're wanting to get an RV and travel and we needed a van that could fit our growing family and a pickup truck wasn't gonna do that. So we drove to Indiana and got this vehicle and we got to go and sit down at a restaurant together. Thanks to my mom for watching the kids. And yeah, so that's what happened in between. Um, I didn't do a lot of vlogging very well. So I will be probably working on getting a um, van tour video once we get used to it. Um, we've only had it for this week. And so I feel like it would be kind of silly to give a review yet. So, okay. First grocery haul in the new van. Say hi, Mom. No, I'm not. She doesn't want to be on the YouTube. Nope. Some of this is hers. I think I'm definitely going to have to take that seat out. Because. At least half of it. Yeah. back at it again. So this is a, not a once a month grocery haul. So in two weeks, we are going to Tennessee. Braxton has an evangelism training that he is going to do. And we're gonna be there for like five to seven days. We haven't decided if we're gonna stay in Knoxville for a few days. Um, we've kind of been undecided on that. So this is like, some of this stuff will last all month but most of it is for two weeks. Um, and some of it is I got bigger quantities of it because I don't go to Sam's Club very frequently. Um, and so I went to Sam's today with my mom to spend some time with her. And yeah, so this is Sam's and Hy-Vee. So here is everything. Let's start over here. Well, we'll call it over here. So I got some tortillas because we have, I'm, I'm not gonna have you just, no, no. give me some space, please. Okay. I got some tortillas. We've been doing a lot of wraps for lunch. Um, and so these are bigger than what I've been using. Um, so hopefully they'll work better. I got some hamburger buns and I got some French rolls for Italian beef and stuff like that. Got a thing of heavy whipping cream for coffee. My mom stole a few of these. Um, I didn't really need these, but I'll use them for like meatloaf or something. She just wanted a few. Got Braxton's, this is Braxton's favorite, favorite 
coffee. Loud kids. Braxton's favorite, favorite coffee. He's a coffee snob. I've seen this at almost every Sam's Club I've ever been to. Got, this is one of those things where I bought extra because I don't go to Sam's Club very often. They don't have these at Costco. So they're these honey roasted pistachios. Super good. Then I got a rotisserie chicken because I'm gonna make some chicken salad with that. Um, salsa con queso because that's my favorite for nachos. Got some of these poppables. I've never had these before, but I've heard good things. My mom says they're gross, so now I'm discouraged. Cheetos puffs, Doritos. I could have gotten all of this cheaper at Aldi and most of my produce, but I didn't feel like making a bunch of different runs today, so I just decided to spend a little bit extra and just do Sam's. Got this eight pack of puffs for Caleb because they're his favorite snacky snacks. These Oat Crunch Cheerios looked pretty interesting, so grabbed those. Ooh, I almost missed these. Got some cranberries to go in the chicken salad. I got a thing of pears um, and a thing of apples. I got a case of chocolate pediatures. Lucas loves to drink these. He's a pretty picky eater, so I like to give him these for breakfast or something with some fruit to just, yeah. Romaine lettuce. I got a big thing of tomatoes because like I said, we've been having wraps almost every single day and we would use like a whole tomato in wraps. I did get some fillets because we did not have to get any meat this month because I still had plenty. So I splurged on this and a bunch of jalapeno bacon. Um, I did get a thing of pineapple, ham, garlic, roast beef, and sun-dried tomato turkey. Once again, wraps. All those fun things. I got eight things of jalapeno bacon. Um, this is, this will probably last two, maybe even three months. Um, I only know of one store that carries this. And it's our favorite. We love to put it on the wraps. We love to put it on salads. We love to put it on sandwiches. We love to eat it with, um, like, anything. It's just so good. So, if you ever see this, get it. Just trust me. So, that's a, a nice stack of money right there that's going to go straight in the freezer. Um, I did get some more mayonnaise. I got two things of cocktail sauce and two things of tartar sauce because... I had gotten Braxton some fish, two things of strawberries, a thing of grapes, a thing of raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, two bunches of bananas. Chloe apparently told my mom that I don't get the kind of pickles she likes anymore, so I got these for her. Celery, I think I said that. Two bags of broccoli. Um, I've been actually cooking this in my wok and kind of making it like Panda Express does, and we've been liking that, but I also like to roast it. I got two boxes of popcorn shrimp for Braxton. He's really, he loves popcorn shrimp, and it's really hard to find a good deal on these. So, we got two of these, and that's why I got so much tartar sauce and cocktail sauce, because he likes a lot of sauce with this. Got a thing of string cheese. This was also from Hy-Vee, this garlic aioli sandwich spread. This is super good on wraps and sandwiches and all sorts of good stuff. Um, I did get the baby a few things of baby food. He really likes these ones that has the oatmeal in them. And then he also likes like the meal ones. It's like chicken and apple and stuff. He's been eating a lot more table food, so I only got a few. Um, and then got this big thing of pepperoni to snack on. I got a thing of waffle fries, another box of Z-Bars. The kids really enjoyed those. And then I got these cookie thins. My mom got these at Costco last month and they were super yummy. So we got those as well. So not a ton. It's a decent size haul, but like I said, some of this, like, this will last all month, this will last all month. Some of this stuff will last all month, like the Z-bars and stuff like that. And some of this is just for the two weeks. 
I had plenty of meat left in our deep freezer from last month. We ate out a few more times than we would have liked this month. Um, so we just had a lot left over that we could make it stretch through the month, especially given that we're going to Tennessee. Um, and so, yeah, um, my total for everything was around $400. Um, I forgot my receipts at my mom's house. Story of my life, I forget everything. Um, and so I think it was around $100 at Hy-Vee and then I think it was like $350 or $300 at Sam's Club. Cannot recall. Um, but I had also gotten a few things for her that she also took and just, yeah, it gets confusing when she goes shopping with me. So, like I said, some of this stuff will last for two weeks, some of it will last for a month. Um, I'm planning on starting to film tomorrow um, to start back at filming my meals. I kind of took a couple weeks off. I just, I haven't been feeling very good the past couple of weeks, just low energy and stuff like that. And I'm kind of working on getting that taken care of, wrapping school up for the year, all sorts of things. Also planning our trip to Tennessee. And so I'm planning on starting to film tomorrow to get that started back up. Thanks for your patience there. Um, I hope you enjoy this grocery haul. If you're new around here, thanks for stopping by. Um, make sure to go and follow me over on Instagram. My handle is from his bountiful blessings. I'll make sure to link that down here below. I post a lot of my everyday life and recipes and stuff like that. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Chat with me in the comments. I love to get to know you guys. So have a great week, guys. Thanks for your patience.